How you doing YouTube viewer? Thanks for viewing my video. This video is about the Snapchat machine right behind me. And there we go. Uh, let's see, the Snapchat is here in Orlando, Florida at Universal Studios, Florida. <laughs> um, there's also one at Islands of Adventure. Uh, my question is, is great Snapchat you're here. Um, you can kind of see the video a little bit with the glasses. The only problem that I do see with uh, the glasses is that if you are riding one of the rides or roller coasters is that you are asked to take off your glasses and in the video behind me of the Snapchat, if you can see they're walking around the park uh, here at Ho in Hollywood and also here at Island, uh, Universe Studios, uh, you can kind of see the rides that they're riding, but most of the attendance here at the uh, Islands of Adventure or even uh, Universal Studios that the roller coasters they'll ask you to take the glasses off for your safety and for you to spend uh, I believe it's over 200 bucks let's see real quick oh sorry <laughs> you get to see my mouth and everything but you get to choose between Oh, 100. Uh, let's see. $129. You get to use teal color, black, or a pinkish. No, I can't. Here we go. This is me in my teal glasses. Me in the black glasses. Me in the purple. So that's what I'd look like with the glasses on. But for $129 that I'm easily going to lose. Um, may or may not lose on a ride um, also I thought snapchat at least the last time I looked on snapchat it was only 15 to 20 second video um, I thought they were adding it some more video to it so if you're here on vacation it's nice to go I mean I'd love to have the glasses for uh, Harry Potter's uh, area hogmead and uh just a lot of that area just to take home with me of a video of everything i've seen uh, but rides are not a great idea also if you decide to put it on youtube some of the copyright stuff hopefully uh, snapchat doesn't take down the video because it's i'm copyrighted on showing their machine uh, but the other question that I have for it, is it Wi-Fi, is it a memory card, what it is. Um, but it's a great idea for the theme parks, but not a good idea for the ride. Just because you have a greater chance of losing it. And also, if I turn my cell ca phone camera that I'm doing this video on, this way I am priced sideways so for you to have your glasses in your little shirt here and you either lose them or they come off on a ride a good ride that does spin for men in black at certain area in the thing that uh, the opposing MIB agents are shooting at you because you're 
the ride's infested with aliens, so both sides of the track are aliens, so they, if they shoot your fusion thing, you spin out of control, so you might lose your glasses. The rock and roll roller coaster, you might lose your glasses. Uh, the Simpsons ride, you probably definitely use your glasses. Let's see, Escape from Hogsmeade, you might lose your glasses. Uh, almost any of the Harry Potter rides, the mummy, the ride, you probably end up losing your glasses or they'll ask you to please put, put it in a locker uh, so you don't lose them. And like I said, for when I first seen them, I think they were $200. $199 now I guess they finally they dropped the price down to $130 um, but it's been here at Universal for I think the past two months or past month and a half I think it's been here uh, like I said there's one at Islands of Adventure at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure Florida and there's one here at uh, Universal Studios Florida uh, pretty close to the exit of the new Fast and Furious that should be opening uh, spring of 2018 according to the date that's on the sign. Um, also it's next to the San Francisco Candy Factory and uh, Shay's Alcatraz. So, oops. Shays Alcatraz, San Francisco Candy Factory, the Wharf Side Cantina, and that will be the exit to Fast and the Furious. So that's where the uh, Snapchat uh, glasses are or spectacles. Um, but like I said, the only concern that I do have is that most ride attendants will ask you uh, to put the glasses away because they don't want you to lose your personal items. And for $130 to lose, that is a hard vacation uh, loss. So have nothing against Snapchat, have nothing against Universal employees, uh, but Universal employees are telling you to hold on to your glasses uh, for your safety so you don't lose them. It's their job to make you safe and feel safe on the ride that you're experiencing. So like I said, it has nothing to do with Universal employees. They just want to make you feel safe and be safe on the ride and make sure you take everything that you've brought onto the ride. Um, so you don't lose it uh, to have you put it in a locker or whatnot but walking around the park it's would be pretty great um, like I said you see the video here yep the eyeball just popped up but it is a, it is a cute little machine that is, that I mean it's awesome, cute and everything. There's a video. So another question is certain shows and everything, you're kind of rude to be uh, record, not recording, but at least having your sunglasses on when you are uh, watching Fear Factor. Uh, live or you're watching the uh, hog meets uh, sirens or sing the singers uh, since it is the holiday season where I'm recording or the time I'm recording that uh, it's kind of, it, especially here since it, it is nighttime um, to be wearing sunglasses <laughs> your spectacles unless they are like transition lenses that they uh, go clear during the night or uh, or during the day when you go inside a building so it looks like you're wearing glasses that would be probably worth the hundred and thirty dollars but other than that uh, I'm gonna end this video because it does sound like I'm downgrading uh, snapchat but 
I'm not. I'm just saying that for the customer safety of the glasses here at Universal, it is, in my opinion, in my opinion alone, and I, like I said, I have nothing against Snapchat, have nothing against their company, have nothing against Universal, um, but just for the safety aspect of having the glasses at night, having the glasses in a dark area of different parts of the park or shows that in my opinion alone and hopefully it doesn't uh, swage you from not buying the glasses I, I like them they're pretty cool um, I like the way that they have an image of you wearing the glasses but for safety purposes alone I would not recommend the glasses for any rides that you're going on please be safe with them uh, if you're in a dark area take them off uh, other than that they are pretty good I don't have a hundred and thirty dollars to spend on them so I can tell you how they work or anything uh, I would probably buy a pair just to try them out but all my 340 plus videos here on YouTube are demonetized because of stupid copyright things or strikes on free music that YouTube gave me to use and they copyrighted strikes. So don't have any money coming from YouTube, don't have any money coming from Patreon. So it was just interesting to see this here and at Islands of Adventure and I just figured I'd do a video of uh, my review of them even though I'm not using them. Uh, it's just a, what I see. I haven't really seen too many people in the park today wearing them. Uh, one probably because they don't know that they're here or two they have the same concern I do with the safety aspect. So uh, maybe during the day, they, a lot of people were wearing them, but uh, it's just my opinion, safety concern, and hopefully Snapchat, you don't lose any money or revenue from this video, but uh, the good idea that I'll give you for free is uh, ha make them for that price transition lenses where they go ahead and they and at nighttime they turn clear or when they go into a dark area they turn clear then when you step outside then they turn into shades um, but other than that you guys have a great day please like share and subscribe if you do have a pair of the snapchat glasses please leave a comment Tell me how you like them. Um, tell me if they are safe in the dark and uh, what you think of them. So again, thanks for watching my video. Uh, you have a great day and enjoy.